channel my name is Nikki and I do lots of Harry Potter Disney and travel content if that sounds like something you enjoy then please hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you are notified every single time I upload and if you're a returning subscriber then hello and welcome back and I hope you enjoy this video Today we're going to be unboxing the Boots UK 24 Days of Advent Calendar in the Hedwig style. Now last year it was the Hogwarts Express um, but this year it's obviously Hedwig so I'll give you a quick close up of the calendar and it's so shiny and pretty that I've had to shut my curtains because it was so shiny and super reflective so we're going to get on with unboxing it when you first get it it has tape around the edges so you have to undo it so that you can open it and inside it looks like this how stunning is that and look it's so reflective it's so shiny and holographic and it looks oh it's so magical so i love this bit and then on the other side of it it has uh, all of the advents for the days of the year let me just pick it up so that you guys can see it all the way so it has all of this so the reason i'm unboxing this calendar today is so that you guys can see what is inside of it so we need to find number one. one. Oh, they're all starting to fall out so number one is just here. I don't want to knock them all out. I feel like they're going to really easily come out. So this is number one. It looks like this. I just love the holographic to it. The way it's like it's so holographic and so shiny. And that it's, it obviously shines like a rainbow. So let's have a look and see what is in the first one. Okay, so if you're like me, you're not sure how to open it, um, don't go for the sides, they don't want to open, but if you open the bottom bit, you just have to kind of like push it in and you've got to really like pod it out. I was worried I was going to rip it, but anyway, here is the first bit, so let's see what's in here. So it's in some gorgeous blue tissue wrapping. Let's have a look. Okay, it's a ball, so I'm going to guess it's a bar form of some sort, but it might not be. It could be Ravenclaw because it's wrapped in blue, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's not. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is a, it's a Harry Potter Gryffindor bath bomb. And it's so cute. It is smaller than I expected, but it's so cute. It smells really good. It smells like strawberries and flowers, maybe. It smells really nice. So that is what is in number one. So that's number one. Let's look for number two, which you guys will probably be able to see before me. Number two, number two is here. Quite like the way they're put in. I do think it's quite a clever idea. Okay, number two. By the weight of it, I feel like it could be a bath bomb, but then this one does feel slightly heavier than, heavier than the other one. So let's have a look. It is a body wash. So it is a Ravenclaw body wash. I'm not quite sure if you can, how well you can see that. That is. So we've got a Ravenclaw body wash. Hold on, I actually didn't see what scent it was. A lightly fragrance body wash. It doesn't say. Let's have a little smell. I don't really know what that smells like. It just has like a just a body wash smell. It doesn't really have like it has a generic smell. That's what I was looking for. A generic smell. That's number two. I will say it's not easy to put in and out. Now we need to find number three. Okay, let's look for number three. Here's number three. I do apologise, this is probably going to be quite a long video. Um, I'll be unboxing most of these off camera. It's going to be another bath bomb. I'm going to guess it's a yellow bath bomb because... I don't know if you can see, but it looks like there's like a yellow tint underneath. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. Um, but I'm going to guess it's a Hufflepuff bath bomb. But I could be wrong. It, it, oh, I thought it was Hufflepuff, but it's not. It's a golden stitch bath fizzer. So that's lovely. I think I got one of these last year, but I think I got the big version of it. So I like that. So it's four is down here. So it's quite tricky to get at. Look, so number four comes in a uh, rectangle box. I was going to say square then, but this is rectangle. 
or a cuboid box <laughs> if you want to be technical. And let's see what's inside. Um, it feels like a plastic pot, so maybe this is some shower gel or some something like that. I think it's gonna be something along those lines. Oh, it's shower jelly. I don't think this has got necessarily a theme. I think it's just, unless it's like a Gryffindor shower jelly maybe, because it looks red. But then I'm not sure if it's meant to be red or pink. So let's have a little smell and see what it smells like. Oh, it's a twisty one. Oh, that smells beautiful. It smells flowery. I really like that. And it's got glitter inside. I don't know if you can see, but it's really glittery. I really like that. That is really nice. And um, so that is then that is number four. So I'm just gonna pick this one out, and it's in a really sh weird shaped box. So let's have a look. I believe we open it from the bottom. Let's have a little look. Now this feels like it could be a hand gel because it's got the hand gel type feel. And it is, it's a hand cream. It's a Harry Potter Hedwig hand cream. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's like, so purple's my favorite color if you guys didn't already know. Um, so, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I love it. And just says, treat your hands with your favorite Harry Potter creature companion. The Harry Potter Hedwig hand cream is fragrance with notes of lemon, grapefruit, and vanilla. Yeah, vanilla, I wasn't sure if I've read that right. Oh, that smells delicious. It's quite a, quite um, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but basically it's not a strong scent. It's not very strong in terms of um, the actual smell, like whereas some of them can be really like overpowering. It's not overpowering at all. It's quite a sweet and su subtle. It's quite a subtle smell. Okay, we've just done number five. I'm going to package some of these up properly afterwards just because um i want i want to see what's in this i want to find out what we have so number six is also the same sort of shape but on the other side so i'm going to put it down to be able to get this one out in a weird shaped box so maybe this could be another hand cream but will they do two hand creams in one go okay let's have a look oh okay it's not it's another pot so i'm assuming this is going to be another jelly let's have a look this is another shower jelly and I'm assuming this might be a Hufflepuff one but I don't know if it's going by houses so let's smell this one. Oh, it's glittery as well I feel like that's the same scent but more lemony yeah and it's also really glittery as well so that's really nice I actually really like this so far I think I do think it's starting to become worth the money the more you go through it it's a really really tiny one so it looks like this so this could be maybe a bath bomb or a, I would say jelly, but I don't think it could be a jelly. Although it is a plastic pot. Eyeshadow maybe? Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Look at it. So this is a lip balm. This is my favorite color. Oh, that is gorgeous. So it is a Hedwig lip balm doesn't really smell of anything I can't decide if it's got like a really subtle scent or whether there's just no scent at all but it is absolutely beautiful as in the packaging is absolutely beautiful um, and it's just plain white on the inside for your lip balm but I love that I think so far this just for the tin is my absolute favorite number eight okay This is squishy. It feels like it's something really soft. It's squishy. I'm not gonna lie, I've got no idea what this is. Let's have a look. Ooh! Oh, is that little scrunchy? No, I love scrunchies. I've currently got a tinsel one in. I don't know if you can see, but I've currently got a tinsel one in. But it is a gorgeous little scrunchy. It's got a little bow. It's a that is so cute, I really like that. I think it's meant to be one where you put your hair in when your hair's wet, but I might be wrong. But that is lovely, so that was number eight. Number nine, let's go for number nine. How are we nine through already? I'd be really happy with this actually, I think, if I was doing it every single day over December. And I may actually do that, I may do this every day over December. So, that 
was really easy to open. Oh, it is. It is a Gryffindor body wash with the Gryffindor lion on it, and it doesn't say it's fragrant. So let's have a smell. It, I think these all smell the same because the smells aren't very strong. Like some of them are quite strong, but most of them are really subtle. And that smells the same as the other one. I think we had Ravenclaw last time. Ow. I think we had Ravenclaw last time and they smell pretty much the same. Which is kind of disappointing because I've had, I, every year I get the little body wash sets that you get. Or the shower, lotion or shower gel sets. And they all smell completely different and that's what I love about them. And they last ages. But anyway, we're not going to dwell on that. We're going to find number 10, which is this one. Oh, I've just realised, I feel like I'm kind of drowning into my wall. But basically, I'm going to be moving my bedroom around very soon. Um, so I've taken all of my prints off of my wall so that they don't get ruined. But let's get back to the unboxing. We now have the Griff uh, Gryffindor. We now have the Slytherin bath bomb, which is lovely. Ooh, that smells really nice. It smells soapy. I mean, of course it's going to be soapy. It's a bath bomb, but you know what I mean. I like the smell of that one. That smells lovely. So that is the slippery one. So we've had the Hufflepuff, the Gryffindor, and the slippery one now. So we're just looking for the Ravenclaw. So that was number 10. Number 11 is up here. We've got number 11. This one's really light. So maybe this could be a scrunchie because the scrunchie's pretty light, but I don't know how many scrunchies there are. There might only be one. No, but it does feel soft like a scrunchie. Ooh, I love face masks. It says, Hogwarts is your home. I love that. So I really needed a new face mask. So this is perfect. Okay, I love that. Oh, now I'm talking between that and that little tin because I love that little tin. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I've got number 12 right here. Let's have a look. Oh, that's so cool. It's a shimmering bath elixir. Look at this. It's gold and it's shimmery and that is stunning. That is so pretty. Oh, that smells I can't think what it smells like. It smells like a cake. It smells a bit like a cake, like a lemony type cake. But yeah, I'm gonna say like a lemon drizzle cake, which I'm actually making with my brother in a minute. So um we've got number 13 over here, which is quite heavy, so I'm gonna say bath bomb. And it's a white bath bomb. It's just a Harry Potter fizzer, and this one's got a very strong strong scent. And it's really glittery. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it's really, really glittery. We only have 10 left. So let's have a look. I think this is going to be either a bath elixir or a bath um, wild body wash. It is the Hufflepuff one. So it's got a badger on it. I really do like these. I'm, as I said, I get these every single year, but I get the big ones. I really like those and they will get used. So we've got 14, now we're on to 15, which is a long rectangular box. And it's actually pretty weighty, so I'm not 100% sure what is in here. In them. Yes, it is. This is a Harry Potter Slytherin fragrance spray. So it's 50 millilitres, and once you open it, use it within 24 months. So let's have a little look. Ooh! That smells delicious. But I will say, I keep saying delicious, it smells beautiful. But they do all smell very similar. I'm just going to spray a little bit. Mm. It does smell good though, and I would wear that. So it is a slivering one. It's in silver, so it's kind of hard to see. So that's number 15. I am getting quite a pile of these on my side now. Let's find number 16. So we've got number 16. And we've got that one out. This is quite heavy. I'm not sure what this one is. Because it's a different shape to the others. This is more like a cylinder shape. So, oh, oh, it's some golden bath scrub. Doesn't have a scent on it. That was number 16. Let's find number 17. It's in a weird shape again. Mm, I don't know what could be it. 
it's our rollable fragrance and just says directions for use rolling. It's a rollable fragrance. That is awesome. I thought I had loads left to do and then I've realised that I've just put some of the others back. So number 18 is another box like this. Now I think this is going to be um, a fragrance to do with one of the other houses. Because there are four boxes that look like this, 21 and 23 are a box like this. And they gave us a slivering one, which is pretty specific. So I think these will be the other fragrances. Fragrances, if I can say the word. But I will be disappointed if they are the same, like the same scent. Because why would I need four bottles with the same scent? Um, I suppose it means I've always got some, but it would just be nice to explore different ones. It is, it's an Claw Fragrance Spray, which I'm going to do close-up for because obviously, yeah, I think it's the same fragrance. So although it is a brilliant idea, different fragrances would have been nice, especially as not everybody likes the same thing. So if you had a different fragrance for each one, then somebody would be able to say, oh, I like this fragrance or I like that fragrance, but I don't like this one. And then they would have had at least one they like, whereas if they don't like that sort of fragrance, because it's got quite a unique smell to it. It's definitely a soapy, like a proper, if you imagine going somewhere where you're going to buy soap and bath bombs, it's got that kind of smell as if you walk in. Um, but anyway, let's get on with 90. And it's another bath bomb. I thought I'd had all the house bath bombs. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I am missing one, but I thought I had them all. Oh, no, I haven't had the Hufflepuff one, have I? Because I had the Golden Snitch one. So this is the Hufflepuff bath bomb. Number 20. I will say the packaging is beautiful. This is going to be another body wash because it's the same bottle, I'm guessing. It is. It is a slippery one. Now, this one I prefer to the fragrance bottles just because where it's coloured on the inside, you can actually see what it is on the outside of the bottle. 21, I think is going to be another fragrance. So let's have a little look. It is, it is the Gryffindor represent my house fragrance. The Gryffindor fragrance. That one is different. I don't know why that one is different, but that one is definitely different. That one's really strong. That one is really strong. I have three left to do now. Number 22 is again in one of these boxes. I'm really hoping you guys are actually like you're enjoying this because it's actually been really fun to unbox, especially since it's not Christmas yet. Oh, it's a bath bomb. Okay, I was convinced you had houses, unless it's gonna be like a head wig bath bomb. It's not. It's a Ravenclaw bath bomb, but it's purple. Haven't we had the Ravenclaw bath bomb? It's Ray. I'm sure Ravenclaw's blue. Tell me in the comments down below. Ravenclaw. Blue. I'm pretty sure it's blue. So why would it be purple? Can someone kind of give me some context to why it might be purple? Four? No, 22. That was 22. Then we got 23, which will be the final fragrance spray. It is, which is the Hufflepuff fragrance spray. And it's again got the badger on it. Oh, this one's different. I'm going to have to go back and smell because this one smells of lemons. This one's a lemon scent, so I wonder if I've just smelt too many. I'm going to have to go back and correct my past statements. Because that is a lemon scent, whereas the other, the Gryffindor one is like a strawberry cherry type scent. In fact, I'm going to keep this one here for a minute. And we're just going to take a slight step back before we do the final one. We're going to find the other boxes of these. So this is 18. And we're going to smell them and I just want to see if I've been wrong in thinking they all smell the same. No, they don't. That does smell different. Okay, so some of the things smell the same, whereas some of the things smell different. But I think because I've smelled so many different things today, they all smell super similar. So, yeah. The fragrances definitely all smell different. Oh, I was wondering why they had so many that smelt the same. I was thinking, that doesn't make sense. That wouldn't be a value for money. Right, now we've done that, we're going to go on to the final item. Now, this is really light. I mean, to the point that I could play catch with this. And it, if, if it dropped on me, it wouldn't hurt. So this is number 24. And I love the fact that it's 
in a different shaped box and it's silver and it has Hedgewick on it. Carrying the letter to Hogwarts because you know we all want to go to Hogwarts. So let's open and it's got our blue tissue. Carefully take it out. Now it's very soft and oh I can see a wing inside. This could maybe be we've had a face mask or an eye mask and we've had a scrunchie. Could this be like a hair towel? You know, one of those things you put in your hair or a or a a shower cap maybe but it feels fabric so let's undo it let's have a look oh this is so cute so it's just like a head wrap so you must just put it like on your head so i like that it's really cute i've got my head wig one from last year but it actually looked like head wig i'm pretty sure of its eyes so it's white with a gorgeous embroidered purple head wig and then stars head wig and in stars going all the way around so i'm just trying to hold it but i'm not doing a very good job of that and then it's velcro so that is it that is the whole of the boots advent calendar complete so as i said this is the boots hedwig 24 days of advent so now it costs 40 pounds which let's actually calculate this and work out whether this is a good value for money so calculator 40 divided by 24 hold on 40 divided by 24 which would make it one pound 67 a product which actually isn't that bad considering if you were to buy um the four body washes now only a little bit bigger than the ones that we have here and there is already you know over a quarter of the price of what we've paid so i do think it's worth the money um, however, I do wish that they had more different scents in some of the things rather than them, some of them being the same. But I may actually be wrong because the four fragrances were all four different scents that they were. I keep saying scents so many times I forget if I'm saying it correctly. But let me know down below what do you think. So if you enjoyed this Wizardry Wednesday, please give it a big thumbs up. And see more calendar unboxings, Harry Potter and Disney content, as well as travel and Comic Con content, then please hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you are notified every single time I upload because we have got at least two more calendars to come and they are both wax milk calendars one is a disney and harry potter themed wax milk calendar and the other is a christmas themed wax milk advent calendar and if you'd like to see any more of my videos please click here i hope you have a most magical day and i'll see you soon bye